Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another video. There was a slight hesitation there because my Mara Mick, who's, you know, Mick's channel, has just texted me and uh, blown yet another video. Thanks Mick, that was take four. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll go for take five. Uh, today, uh, a ramble about books. Um, oh, you're kidding me. That is Mick just saying, <laughs> rearranging a Skype uh, paint and chat. <laughs> And he's, I've just told him I'll be 10 minutes, I'm shooting the video. Right, and I'm keeping this in, Mick. Um, right, let's go back to the start. We're uh, talking about uh, books today. Uh, I'm not going to be giving you a review on books. Um, I'm a, I know you can do book reviews and show books, as in open them up and that. And I believe it's something like fair use. I'm always terrified of getting done for copyright, so I've got a huge library of books and I'd love to be able to show the insides of some of them, just to give you the idea of you know what, what you'd be looking at if you decided to get one yourself. Uh, but unfortunately, you'll just have to take Gav's word for it because I ain't going to be opening up any books. It was more the fact that uh, Fraser of from Ketchingham's channel, uh, Fame, he got a couple of books the other week and I just put on a comment, you know, nice books, uh, you've made me go to the, I've, I've just taken a, a I get these. I get these sent to me from the Naval and Military Press. I call them papers because they literally look like a newspaper. Uh, I've signed up to their mailing order list, and I've been like for twenty years or so, fifteen, twenty years. I can't remember. Uh, I, um, you, you're under no obligation. They don't send you books if you don't buy any books or whatever. It really is just a mailing mailing order of books. They've got their own website, and they've got a damn sight more books on those. Uh, I wanted to give. I suppose I'm giving them a, a, a you know, a bit of uh, advertising. I have no absolutely zero connection with this company whatsoever. It's just I mention it from time to time because I use them a lot, and I really do think they're fantastic value for the whether you're a um, war game uh, war gamer, just a figure painter, um, scale modeler. They have some fantastic books on all military subjects. Uh, air, sea and land, um, some civilian stuff as well uh, and they're just, just the prices you know £3, £5 uh, for hardbacks, softbacks the only time you'll be paying you know these ridiculous 50 and £70 pounds. as we all know you put something uh, Waffen SS or something on the front of a book and it seems to suddenly you're paying £70 pound for the privilege of it um, but in general fantastically affordable books and it's not Amazon or anything like that so um, I'm holding this up like this because the other paper I was going to show you has actually the naval naval and military press com anyway this is uh, I'll quickly give you a quick show inside because I'm not breaking any copyright as it's uh, they're actually trying to flog your books um, that's the type of thing you get inside uh, this is a centenary special um, from uh, the Great War and this is chock full of titles of Great War, which, as you know, know um, that's one of my main subjects. Although you don't see me paint a lot of it, that's one of my main study subjects. Uh, I haven't seen this one for a while. This is actually new books, bargains, and short list, short list titles. Again, you're looking at four pound, three pound, five pound. Uh, these aren't seconds. They're all they're all as far as I'm aware. They're, they're all new books. Uh, that's what I've ever had off them. So there you go, Naval and Military Press. Uh, you just fill the order form in, and they usually have a separate order form in the, in the middle of the, the thing as well. But just go online if you don't want to sign up to anything, just go online and you can still get the same type of books and probably more choice. The reason I'm doing this, we should get back to the, to the reason. The reason I'm doing this, I just wanted to show the eclectic nature of so many of us out there, and me in particular, when it comes to uh, historical military time periods. I really envy all you guys out there that are just interested in one thing. It might be American Civil War. It might be, uh, it might be World War Two, twin engine bombers. You know, it could be ancient Greeks. Whatever you're into, if you've just got that one subject and you've had it your whole life, I really take my hat off to you because I wish I could be like that. Uh, I literally flip from one subject to the other. I've been hugely interested in the Great War for about probably 20 years, uh, particularly as I've said to you guys on a few occasions, I'm particularly interested in um, 
the very first part, uh, the, the War of Movement, more or less, so, you know, August 14 to, to into 1915, and also the Dardanelles campaign uh, from the uh, uh, Empire side and the, the Turk side. Uh, also, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the War at Sea, as you know, as well. Uh, I've got a Probably again in the last 20 or so years, I'm, I've became. I always used to be into World War II aircraft and things like that, but now I'm a huge fan of post war jets and helicopters. Uh, when I was in the army, I flew in a fair few helicopters and I, I really got the bug uh, for, for modern aviation. Uh, so, although you don't really see it, you will see on my likes. You'll, I'm a huge fan of the F 104 Starfighter, so you'll see, see lots of likes for that when I'm looking at videos. Uh, but things like that. So I, I literally, I cannot, my library is full of a library. <laughs> it's, a, it's a laugh, but my bookcases are full of, of ancient, from ancient to, to modern times. I've, I've, I've got some Amazon books, a few weeks book on modern Russian helicopters. So yeah, it, it, it varies. So I just, I'm not going to give you a, a review of these. I won't be opening them up. You'll just have to take Gav's word for what's inside them. Uh, but I just it was just a video to show, and I'm, I'm sure I can't be the only one out there, how much you can flip from one subject to another. So the first book I wanted to show you was Target Saigon, 1973-1975. Now, I made a big balls up with this. I, uh, forgive my French, I uh, thought I was getting completely on aviation. <laughs> um, you know, I honestly thought it was just the aviation side of the fall of Saigon, you know, in those last couple of years. Uh, and it isn't. It has got aviation in it and lots of um, colour uh, drawings, you know, with the um, with the aircraft skins on. So you can you can do them for modelling and that. But it's also got all the ground forces as well uh, on the on the Arvin side anyway, from what I've seen. Loads of black and white photographs, a bit like this. Is it the M48 there? Uh, they've got lots of photographs like this. Um, and uh, uh, and lots of colour maps obviously showing the divisions and brigades manoeuvring around Saigon. Uh, on the back here it will show you the different books uh, in the series uh, which is uh, um, Eastern Offensive Vietnam 72 uh, that looks like it's in two volumes but they've got a war within a war Turkey struggle with the PKK since 1984 Counterinsurgency in Paradise, Seven Decades of Civil War in the Philippines. Um, really cracking book. Now it's a softback, but that cost me three quid. Now, if you were to buy a magazine, it wouldn't be half as good quality, and you'd have read it, and it'll go in a pile, and you'll be trying to give them away to your mates in a, in a few months' time, you know? Uh, I just, so for a book that... <laughs> I wasn't actually, I just wanted it. I knew there'd be lots of um, F-105s, uh, F-5, sorry, um, in there, and maybe some Sky Raiders and things like that, <laughs> and maybe some Caribou, uh, and that's what I was looking for. Uh, and uh, I was actually, you know, obviously when I realised, at first I thought, ah, but it's actually a cracking book, and um, for three quid, if the Army and Navy military press, uh, Naval and military press, sorry, if they, uh, they get any more of these titles in, I'll probably get them for three quid. They're fantastic to put in your library. So, um, there you go. That's Target Saigon, Volume 1, The Pretense of Peace, 73 to 75. And that's their Asia and War series. Now, this is what I'm trying to show about the collect, um, eclectic nature of, of where my mind goes. Uh, this next book, I've not actually painted anything from this time period for years and years and years, way before I ever did anything commercially. And this is from Europa Militaire, Special Number 18. It's the Medieval Fighting Man Costume and Equipment, 800 to 1500. Now, my Mara Paul Alba put me onto this series of books uh, a couple of years ago, and he swears by them. Uh, he swears a lot, but he swears, <laughs> he swears sorry Paul, he, sw he swears by these books. And I absolutely agree with him, having finally got one uh, on a subject yet I haven't even painted. But again, this was about four quid, I believe. Three quid, four quid. Uh, normal price around 15 quid. Um, and again, it just gives me the idea of, of what the, the metal sheens and, and shines and colours would look like. Um, inside, it's obviously got all the clothing, the weaponry, you know, what you'd expect. You can see on the back there. A, uh, a little battle. It's all reenactors, and they do them. Um, 
uh, American Civil War, Napoleonics, and probably a lot of others in between. Um, I haven't got any of those yet because I was just relying on picking them up from, from this company when and when they put them on. But if you're after something like this, if you're into this time period, about four quid at the moment going on Naval Military Press. Uh, so we've gone from the fall of Saigon, 73 to 75, to the year 800 to 1500. Now, somewhere, sm well, I won't say smack bang in the middle, hardback book time. This was around a fiver. I know, <laughs> I know how to push the boat out. Uh, Sedgemoor, 1685, Marlborough's first victory by the author John Tinsey, I believe. For Tinsey, uh, John, I'm very sorry if I've uh, mullered your name there. Uh, but uh, it, I, I haven't obviously read it yet. I've just flicked through it. Some black and white photographs in there of the, the Sedgemoor battlefield itself. Uh, this was obviously um, King James actually won this one. As you know, I'm into the, the, the Glorious Revolution. Uh, I've always been into, although I'm into my military history, I'm a huge fan of the, the political side of it as well, because without the politics, you don't get into wars, do you, normally? Um, and this was the Duke of Monmouth landing in the West Country to raise the, the Protestant standard against Catholic King James. Uh, and I don't think he... He, sh he probably should have looked at history probably himself. Um, uh, you aren't going to overthrow somebody unless you've got an army at your back like uh, the Prince of Orange, King William... King William did, King William of Orange, when he when he landed in the Glorious Revolution and had uh, most of the, the army, which was, you know, or well, the Protestant side of the army, come over to him. Uh, Monmouth had none of that. He just uh, got the locals, local country folk, to put their uh, scythes on some, uh, some, some, and some wooden pot on some wooden poles and he expected that uh, he was going to defeat King James that way. It, we all knew how that worked out. He was hung, drawn and quartered. But I've never actually had a book on Sedgemoor, and again, saw this for five pound, and uh, thought, well, I've got to, got to read up on it, so I've, uh, I've got a better, better understanding of the battle itself and some of the characters involved in it. So, what do we learn from all this? Apart from Gav can't stick to one subject, and he lets his money burn holes in his pocket. Uh, I just wanted to show uh, that. Getting military history books uh, on on whatever subject you know you want to read up on, you don't always have to just rely on Wikipedia, and uh, and you know snippets out of pictures out of that people have stuck on the internet. Books can be expensive, um, as I've said. If you want to get your Waffen SS type of books, a lot of times you know for the you know particular divisions, and I'm not just pointing the Waffen SS, but anything I've seen um, there was a book on the Belgian army in the Great War I wanted but close to a hundred pound <laughs> no way is Gav going to be spending that type of money no matter how well written it is uh, books are affordable four pound three pound five pound hardbacks softbacks you know treat them nice and I've got books in my collection I've had since I was what 12 13 14 and I'm an old fart now so and they're still as good as the, the day I've you know I bought them so it was just a ramble on how you can get a delivery of books and not one will be from the same time period or the same type of, uh, you know, obviously the same type of uh, weaponry. Uh, I only bought, as I say, the other the other week I had some modern Russian helicopter books come from Amazon, which I couldn't get from Naval Military Press. So uh, I'm going back to my uh, eclectic book reading. I hope you have a great day. Uh, as I say, I, I'll take my hat off to you if you can stick to one historical subject, because uh, I can't. And uh, we'll catch you again on another video. Uh, coming up, we've got... Um, I'm basing the Wurttembergers at last. So they, and um, I've got an order from Front Rank. Uh, uh, we've got some finials for their, uh, for their uh, colours, uh, which is why I haven't been showing the Wurttembergers completed. So um, that's going to be something that should be coming up in the next four or five days. Uh, the Nassau's, I've just cleaning up, I've got eight to do, so I'm cleaning up four of those and I've still got another four that I'll, I'll obviously have to clear up, clean up and uh, primer. got those to do. I've done all the skirmishes at last for the uh, AB Commission. I'm now working on some brigade and was well, just about to start on some brigade and divisional commanders for that. 
I've the clients got me to paint a couple of extra battalions, so um, I'll be doing those after that, and then a, a small battery of artillery, and then finally the corps commander. And I think that's a commission that we finally put to bed. <laughs> it's it's been a long one. Uh, so thanks for sticking by me. Thanks for all your comments and the, the, the subscriptions, all that stuff that I never really mention, and it's not because I'm blasé about it or take you all for granted. I just, I've always said, I stick my videos up. If people want to watch them, great. If they don't, walk on by, I completely understand. It's just a good bit of therapy for me. <laughs> so you take care of yourself, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.